Hey everybody, Jay Salen here. Welcome back to Jay Salen Music. And on today's episode, we're reviewing that. Stick around. So I haven't done an electric guitar review in a while, but I got this particular guitar from my good friend Tony Shipikasi at Expedition Music in Harbor Beach, Michigan, and I thought I would do a quick review on it. This is a Schechter C6 Deluxe electric guitar. Very nice finish on that. It's sort of a matte teal. Uh, you can see that uh, it sort of gets glossy where your uh, fingers or your pick uh, sort of rub up against that. It shines up the finish a little bit. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Three-way switch on it. These cool knurled knobs. Uh, double humbuckers. I really like humbuckers. Uh, it's got your tunomatic bridge on it, but then it's got this through-the-body string sort of configurations. or sort of a staggered step pattern. Um, I've never been able to get those, uh, those ferules in a straight line anytime I've built a guitar, so maybe that was Schechter's way of solving that problem. <laughs> so let's see what else have we got here. Neat contours on the body. See how those those contours are kind of cool looking there. And then on the back, you've got another contoured, like a contoured heel so that you can get up into these higher frets. Uh, it doesn't have a neck plate on it. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, maple neck. Looks like a rosewood, maybe an laurel, Indian laurel fretboard. I'll post complete uh, specs in the description. Uh, it's got an angled headstock on it. Nice scarf joint here. And a neat little uh, volute or uh, heel there. Sort of reinforcement on that angled neck. Because as we all know, certain guitars happen to break in that spot. If uh, they're dropped, uh, I'm not naming any names, <clears throat> Gibson. But anyway, you've got your Schechter uh, branded tuners. Neat painted headstock there with their logo and all that good stuff. Um, what else can I say? It's a really nice guitar. Sounds really nice. Let's get to how it sounds. Okay, so I'm all set here. Got my headphones on. Um, I'm going through a Reaper session here. I uh, got my microphone and the guitar into separate channels. Uh, the guitar is uh, running through Bias FX2. I got the demo version of that uh, just to try it out. Um, I don't really prefer software amps when it comes to recording a guitar and to uh, sort of demo it. I like to I like to go through a real amp, um, but uh, it's a lot easier to set all this stuff up uh, through a software amp rather than setting up a an amp and setting up the microphone and getting everything all situated and everything so and uh, bias effects seems to be pretty good some of the amp software amp modeling programs they i think they sort of tend to make guitars sound a little muddy or muffled or whatever but this one sounds pretty good i think i got it dialed in pretty good so here's a here's a good clean middle switch actually probably turn it up a little bit more maybe even boost the gain it's a little clean clean there we go now there's a little bit of So the thing that I was talking about earlier, uh, about the frets, was I talking about the frets? Uh, these have jumbo frets on them. Uh, the Schechter website says X jumbo. I'm assuming that means extra jumbo, uh, but I can't find any like literature or information on the internet about the extra jumbo. There's either jumbo or medium jumbo or uh, medium. 
medium vintage or jumbo vintage or something like that. There's like five different fret sizes or something like that. And the thing I have with the jumbo frets is I, I have a tendency to mash on the fretboard pretty hard. So I get that almost a bend sound, you know. So I'll, I'll press it to the point where the string bends a little bit because the frets are so tall. So it, you know, on either side of the fret, it, it actually bends the string. So you really need a light touch when it comes to uh, jumbo frets, which I don't really have. So this isn't necessarily uh, a guitar that's ideal for the way I play. And then one thing I noticed about this particular guitar is the neck. I find that the neck is is really kind of flexible almost and I don't know if it's because of the the way it's uh, put together the fact that it doesn't have a plate there and that that heel is tapered so there's not a ton of wood there um, but I don't think it's gonna break or anything but it just you know if you if you hold on to your guitar pretty tight you know or put a lot of pressure on this side with your arm or really pull hard with your fret hand you're gonna get that tremolo that, that sort of wah wah which i guess if you know that's the kind of effect you're after that's that's cool but uh i was finding that i was doing that inadvertently uh with this particular guitar so that's one thing to keep in mind if you happen to get one of these other than that it's a great guitar action setup on it i really like tunematic bridges because it's really easy to set the string height and uh do the adjustments for intonation on it um so yeah so let's uh put some drive on here and listen to it that way this is just like a tube drive <laughs> It's a great, great sounding guitar. Feels good. I like humbuckers. I think uh, I'm really sort of leaning towards the humbucker sound more and more. I'm really kind of losing my affinity for single coils. I don't know why. Um, so anyway, this is a really nice guitar. This is the Schecter c6 deluxe check it out hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time